Okay, my beautiful friends, it's finally Friday, and I don't know about you, but I'm happy about that. This this week has been kind of kind of stressful, crazy, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a freak show. You know it's a freak show. Anyway, so so yeah, this is uh, Friday, my post-market wrap-up, and I want to cover a lot with you here. We have a tremendous week coming up, tremendous, and I'm going to cover that too. But let's start off with, how about we start off with this? You're going to love this. Um, so here's where we stand with regard to federal spending. And I can't say it. A certain type of um, thing that has made the world apparently very sick. Can't say the words. Um YouTube will not process the video. You understand that? You're not being allowed to know what's going on. Anyway, with regard to that. Um, so federal spending right now has cost every single taxpayer here in the United States nearly $42,000. You heard that right. $42,000 just about per taxpayer. Well, I don't know. How's it working out for you? Good? <laughs> Maybe not so good? Well, it's working out great for the banks, great for the Federal Reserve. They couldn't be happier if Big Pharma, oh, they're just beside themselves. Uh, windfall profits, uh, you know, and of course, you're not being allowed to know. I can't talk about this either. Uh, look it up for yourself. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of cover up here with regard to some very nasty, I hope I can say this word, side effects uh, to, to, that people are dealing with here. But, you know, again, uh, it's all being hidden. It's all being covered up. But again, lovely. $42,000 per taxpayer for the scamdemic here in the United States. It's a lovely thing. Debts, deficits ballooning, trillions of more dollars just going to be created magically out of thin air. And central bankers, let me show you what they're doing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's what they're doing. You understand? They are spraying their shorts. Uh, again, every single dollar that a central bank is called upon to just create out of thin air makes them exponentially stronger. Okay, so they want to dish out whatever they want to dish out. Uh, who knows what, the, what other thing they're going to throw at us. They're not done. They're going to milk this whole thing for whatever it's worth, and then they're going to bring something else right up the back door. You got it? And I mean deep up the back door. It ain't going to be enjoyable either. Anyway, so with that said here, um, market new record highs today for the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P 500, NASDAQ finished negative. What's going on here? All right, we're going we're gonna to put that together. So we understand 10-year yield, $1.62 stronger today. So why, why did we hit new record highs today? Well, it's very simple. The market is now pricing in either yield curve control or some new version of Operation Twist. It's that simple. It's being priced into the market now. The market will get what it wants, and the Fed will get what it wants, too. This is a win-win here for Wall Street and for the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve wants to institute yield curve control. Wall Street wants yield curve control because then what's going to happen is, like I've explained to you, a multiples expansion with regard to this market, and that simply means the stock market is going to vault higher. You think this is high, where we are now? You, you haven't seen anything yet. It's going to go much higher. Okay. Now, with that said, the market is pricing in some action from the Federal Reserve. We just heard from the ECB, right? The ECB, European Central Bank, they're increasing purchases. Let me explain this to you. The Federal Reserve must follow suit. You understand? So again, we know already that the Federal Reserve is allowed to, okay, look this up for yourself if you don't believe me. They're buying at least, there's no cap, $120 billion of assets every month. 
It's unlimited, okay? So the Fed can go beyond unlimited. It can do whatever it wants to at any moment here. So this coming week, we have a FOMC meeting, okay? At this meeting, we're going to hear from Yellowstein. Yellowstein is not going to do, at least I don't think so, what he did the last time, which was to talk about inflation. Remember, inflation is the arch enemy or the super villain of the debt market. The debt market does not want to hear about inflation. This is why we've been lied to and propagandized since time immemorial. There's no inflation. There's no inflation. There's no inflation. You've been literally hypnotized. Nah, 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 nah. It's the twilight zone. Yeah, into this no inflation narrative. We all know this is false. We've been talking about this for years. Of course, there's inflation, but you're not allowed to know about it. The market has to be hidden from the market. You know, the, the market's a, a freak show, and you know that. But again, so Yellowstein is going to speak this week. Um, we're going to hear from the Fed. The Fed's going to increase asset purchases. There's no doubt about it. This is what they want to do. They want to buy it all. They want to be the lenders and buyers of last resort. You know that if you've been following my work period, the end. So right now, this market, record high, record high, record high. Again, no surprise to you. I told you this was going to happen, although, of course, I was told I was wrong by some of you out here. And some of you actually even went short this market oh, like over the past couple of weeks and you got destroyed. Actually, what happened to you is your cash ended up in my pocket and in the pockets of my lions. So I thank you for the gift. You want to keep betting against me? You want to keep betting against my lions? We'll take your money. I'm telling you, it's a, it's a, it's a market. That's the way it is. I got it. Uh, you think I'm a nice guy? You want me to take your money? You want my lions to just eat your lunch for you, well then you go ahead and you bet against us, you keep shorting this market and we'll see who ends up on top. You understand? Yeah, I think you do. Uh, so what I'm trying to tell you here uh, is get with the program, understand what's going on, where we're going, how you can capitalize on this, and I'm not saying just from a trading standpoint, all right? There's opportunity everywhere. Central banks are going to inflate vastly. This means you can Take the opposite side of that trade, holding hard assets, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, silver, my favorite, cryptocurrencies as well. Until some entity out here decides to regulate cryptocurrencies, they're going higher. And they're going much higher, okay? Bitcoin, uh, all the big cryptos today under a little bit of pressure. Okay, whatever. It's, it's a volatile market. But if you understand what's happening here with mass debt acquisition on an unprecedented sale, debt issuance, acquisition on an unbelievable scale, you know exactly what to do. It could not be more simple for you. You understand? You get it? Anyway, so that's really the entire story. Now, crude oil, I want to talk about crude real quick. Um, yesterday, it was reported that there was some kind of an attack. I can't even verify it. I don't even know if it's true, but it doesn't matter. You have to understand, we can have a real attack on, on uh, an oil producer or an, or an oil tanker or whatever it might be, or they can just say it and the market, just because it's afraid, you're going to see crude oil get propped up. You understand? It's the mechanism here. Does it? We really don't even need an attack. If we got a real attack and it were verified and it was all over the, you know, the news, oh, crude oil would just go crazy. And they know that. They hold this in their back pocket. You know, some, of course, you know, rebel group will attack. Um, and they'll, they'll be using very sophisticated weapons. In fact, the same exact weapons that we use here in the United States. Isn't that a coincidence? Oh, yeah, but you're not supposed to know that either. So anyway, yeah, so, you know, they'll, they, they always got that <laughs> that card in their pocket to play. You understand? But they can also jawbone crude oil higher, period, the end. Um, so look, like I had said, this market has no bearing on reality. There's no price discovery mechanism behind it. It's simply the Federal Reserve. The Fed's running the show. They're running the, the country. They're running the world. Uh, more excuses to borrow cash into existence. Uh, maybe another illness. I can't say the word out here. Uh, it'll cost each taxpayer, let's say, I don't know, maybe 100000 per taxpayer. It's already up to 42000 uh, how did that work out? Working out really well for you? Well, you're getting, a, you know, I think you're getting a third check here. Lovely, lovely. Um, I think it'd be a lot healthier if they just gave you the $42,000, wouldn't it? You'd probably be a lot better off. Uh, it would in increase your, your morale. You'd feel better. You wouldn't be such a debt slave. 
But no, they got to engineer these kinds of things so they can shut down the global economy and pump you with the vaccine that is going to alter your DNA uh, so it can fight the virus. You know, this vaccine is unlike anything we've ever seen before. Oh boy, I just said the word. I hope they do not, uh, I hope they <laughs> process this video. But again, you got to be careful what you say here. They, they scrutinize everything you do, everything you say, phrases, words, all of it. So if this video doesn't make it out and I have to do it over, I won't be happy. But if, it, if by some miracle it just slips through the cracks, that would be just fine too. All right, people, look, that's it. Um, do not miss my newest segment of Markets A Look Ahead this Sunday. I'm going to put a lot of stuff together. Again, it's a big week, big week with the Fed. So I'm going to urge you to, again, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe to it and, and you'll get reminded when my new videos come out. I do these twice a day and I do one on the weekends unless something major happens. Maybe I'll do two, but it's got to be a pretty big event. Otherwise, I want some downtime. Anyway, people, it's Friday. So you know what that means. You and I, we're going to do this together, right? I'm going to leave you off with my favorite three things. Love each other. Care about each other. Be charitable. People, please share this video. Get it out there. Let people hear this stuff. And uh, I think we're going to make a difference. But I need you to help me out. Okay, I can't do this by myself. I can't do it. I need you. All right, that's it. See you Sunday. I am out of here.